peace and power. So here we have a further look into what we are experiencing, why we are able to see the planets um, closer and closer to stars, closer and closer, the sun closer towards um, the surface of the earth. So we're rising. So I'm going to give you an example of really what's happening. So the third dimension is ultimately, um, what I illustrate right here. You know, the third dimension is ultimately right here, represented in red <laughs> on my face. So then we go back uh, here, you know, go to other colors, the blue represents you know all of the stars and stuff up here we have all the stars up there we got all of that up there in blue and the planets and stuff you know all that that's blue up there so then we have back to our red line you know, back to our red line representing the surface of the earth so we're ultimately because of the heat from the sun so i'll draw the sun too because of the heat from the sun we have this up here the sun up there as well we have we have all of that pretty much um and here we have it just to the here we have it to the point now where you know where I go back to the surface of the earth and represent the red foundation uh, it's rising so it's rising pretty much and we're rising and rising and the third dimension ultimately becomes the fourth dimension because in the fourth dimension which I'll illustrate here represented it in green um, would be the you know fourth dimension is, the, is represented in the green, but that's that's ultimately um, the foundation and the level that we're heading to, as far as um, this here evolution into this higher realms, higher dimensions. So we're rising just like that um, stove popcorn that's being heated. The core is heating the planet and pushing it forward, and the, the sun is pushing the, the core of the planet forward. So I hope with this with this illustration, it kind of makes more sense. But um, moving forward, uh, yeah. So going back to, you know, being able to identify each with each uh, layer of the earth, uh, each dimension of the earth up until the third dimension and now fast approaching the fourth dimension. So the black line represents the fourth dimension. If you're able to see that black line, um, no, the black line represents the first dimension representing the black matter. And then we have uh, here we have and would you say yellow or no here we have in white represents the second dimension which is the the phase after the black matter where all the the magma and all the minerals are, have hardened and cooled down to produce the picture on the planet and then you have what you have in red you have uh you ultimately have the third dimension you ultimately have the third dimension and then we're rising upward we're expanding and and so forth you know where we're doing this by way of the heat in the sun in the core of the planet so we are rising and we, we've made it to the point where we're, we're close to the point where our planet is getting ready to touch that fourth dimensional state, which is represented, which is shown here in the green line, this green line right here. And, you know, once, you know, the thing is the third dimension represents the foundation at this point, because after, you know, because we already, because right now the, the first and second dimension act as the foundation for the third dimension. So... You know these particular these particular rams right here one and two are the foundation of three and the foundation for uh, four will be the combination of one two three and so forth so you have the combination you have the combination of both these right here now you have all three of these um, you know acting as the stability uh, for the fourth, fourth dimension pretty much and moving forward <coughs> So the fourth dimension being, you know, up here represented in green, the fourth dimension is our next step, our, our next plane of physical, uh, what they say existence, but our physical plane of, you know, living, our, our next physical plane of living, which way more transmission, uh, way more information, very fast paced, you know, for the ones of us who do make it to that point. But, you know, that's ultimately, you know, just breaking down, breaking down, you know, the many, many, um, just from a visual aspect of what's happening and for us to be able to see um, all of this, this shift from the, whether it's from the sun, you know, whether it's from, you know, just the planet and just the energy that we're all picking up on. Because once the planet's going to alignment, our planet is ultimately shifting upward. So the sun being up here and the core being down at the bottom represented in yellow so those, those are two suns pulling out energy you know us being a part of that you know noticing all of that you know there's 
there's pressure from below and pressure from above and we're being molded into these diamond these these bronze or these diamond bronze golden beings now in the next now in the next and our, our planet is being you know pushed forward so it's it, it, it's being pushed upwardly so then you have up here like i mentioned before you have in blue you got your stars up here your many different planets behind the sun around the sun you know all around us all around us you know because you know space is relative so we're not actually on a globe or a sphere so from a four dimensional view you know we're on basically the ground is flat and you know we're looking up so the point being is all of that um you know all of this stuff is playing a very key role of the energies that's on this planet and then why we're we able to see those those planets so moving forward we we ultimately are ultimately focusing on just you know we we see the point of our our unification we see the point of us coming together as brothers and sisters right now as these diamond bronze golden people as a collective you know trying to seek out the ones who are still what you say um in the so-called you know that low dimensional or you know low vibrational mindset you know we're seeking to raise them up but hey you know you can only plant the seed and you know we're doing that you know we're experiencing a lot of what you call what it seems like change but it's ever it's evolution you would say it's the um necessary evolution to push us forward it is you know everything that we need to skyrocket us up to skyrocket us up forward into the fourth dimension into all these extended dimensions outside of the third dimension the third dimension is only a, a jumping platform and you know you've seen that just based off of um everything here being incomplete everything in this dimension is off good is bad and bad is good but neutrality neutrality is, is the way to go neutrality is you know our purpose as you know being on that choosing that one path in our life and sticking to it and i found out my path is doing this you know raising the minds of our people extending my soul and my brightness out and you know ultimately making you know making a you know a bronze force a you know making a you know a, a impact you know seeing you all smile seeing you all you know you know just eager to you know see these these videos that i put out because i'm spreading you know the information as as luminaries we're, we're all doing this as as these luminaries in one way shape or fashion we're, we're all trying to connect um you know as at least coming back together you know re, reunification of you know the, the mind body and soul as a collective when we're interacting with our brothers and sisters you know we 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 ultimately see that that is our purpose and that is just you know what we're going through as as far as um you know evolving you know I'll, I'll name this video evolving evolving not changing evolving not changing because change is like the seasons you know you go from fall winter spring and summer and then back again it's back and back again the same cycle but when you're evolving you're extending you're growing you're not repeating the same things you did in the past you know that ultimately is a sign of evolution and that is the key and that is the key that is the key brightness discovering your path of brightness and evolution within this time period within within this you know this commenting soul force that has awakened um so many people and is still doing it right now the soul force that brightness that energy um these men these multiple energies coming down these cosmic rays these cosmic rays but you know just a quick video just to you know basically capture you know if people have questions or you know why are we people asking why are we seeing the planets and the stars um you know you know so close towards the you know so close you know normally they seem far away because we've been in this constant evolution not knowing that our planet is rising 
And, you know, it, it, it took so many years to finally realize that our place. So it took 20 years for us to really come into this, this alignment of awareness as far as on a mass, you know, on, on this massive um, collective level. And, you know, we ultimately see it like this. So, you know, peace and power, you know, check out my podcast, you know, check out our community podcast that, you know, we were putting out, you know, and, you know, see us on our community page, you know, it is now, you know, reaching out, you know, it is UNONC reaching out, reach out, um, and so forth, you know, peace and power, uh, no peace, power, and soul, peace, power, and soul, and until next time, you know, peace.